Howdy ladies and gentlemen, as I've said before, the past was absolutely insane, and this video is no exception. In this video, I will be explaining the longest marathon ever run. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Flashback to the year 1912 in Tokyo, Japan. Now this guy, Shizu Kanakori, was one of two runners selected by the Japanese government, the other by the name of Yahiko Mishima, and you'll see why he's frowning in a bit, to run in the Olympic marathon which took place in Stockholm, Sweden. So this kind of curdy guy, he was reported to have run a 2 hour, 32 minute marathon during the qualifying trials the year prior, which is pretty impressive by today's standards, but was actually a world record at the time. Kanaguri was then sent on a boat, after which they would board the Trans-Siberian Railway on an 18 day ride, which on the way, poor Mishima would fall extremely ill and be rendered unable to run in the race. Kanaguri would attempt to get some practice in by lapping the train stations that they stopped at. Also, unaccustomed to the times the sun sets in Sweden, Kanaguri barely slept the night before the race, causing intense fatigue. The temperature on race day was over 30 degrees Celsius, or 86 degrees for my American viewers. Kanaguri got about 30 kilometers into the race, that's a little over 18 miles for my American viewers, before falling unconscious in front of a Swedish household. And when he woke up, an entire day had passed. Kanakuri was not the only person to feel under the weather. <laughs> Quick little pun there. In fact, half of all the racers dropped out. And one poor Portuguese runner by the name of Francisco Lazaro actually died with his temperature exceeding 42 degrees Celsius or 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Kanakuri couldn't just tell Japan that he failed, as he took his honor very seriously. So he just straight up didn't inform the Olympic Committee and went discreetly back to Japan. This, in turn, caused Kanakuri to be marked as missing by the Swedish government. Kanakuri went on to run several marathons before the impossible happened. In 1967, a Swedish television program began to look for Kanakuri, labeling him as the missing marathon runner. Kanakuri was invited to run in the 55th anniversary of the race. Kanakuri, being the legend that he was, agreed to run, and he was now 75 years old. He jogged the whole race and sprinted at the home stretch. When he crossed the finish line, he set a world record 54 years, 8 months, 5 hours, 32 minutes, and 20.3 seconds. Probably faster than I could have run it, honestly. But uh, bum, bum, bum. I wanted to end the video by thanking you guys for all the support on my last video. I'll be trying to improve the quality with everyone I put out. And I even have a new microphone coming in soon. Thank you.